Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Long Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. Today I bring you the epic confrontation between Hilda and this guy right here, Ken Lee. So what we're going to talk about uh, today is I saw on Reddit somebody posted Ken Lee versus Hilda, right? And I was like, eh, Ken, Ken Lee versus Hilda. I think they mean not this, but why not let's just see what happens so i actually while we're doing this i'm going to go ahead and go in i'm in the test account right now i've have hilda and i've go i've set up hilda to go up against ken lee and we're just going to hit auto i've done this several times it it's very bad for hilda hilda does not really stand much of a chance against ken lee um and so it it's kind of fun they they go back and forth a lot um it's kind of fun to watch but what we're going to actually do in the video today is talk about the differences between the two characters the developers felt the need to give us another panda tank um obviously it has she has different uh abilities different things that she can do she has you know turn meter decreases that's sort of so she has more magic damage resistance than ken lee does she does not die but she gains shields she reduces turn meter but I'm not sure exactly what her viability is at this particular point um, and so here we go coming down to the wire this happens almost every time I ran this several times Ken Lee just smashes her um, because he his kit is overall better for a one-on-one -on -one type encounter but does that mean he's better tank than hilda uh just for an easy answer to this the answer is i believe he is a better tank depending on what you want to use him for if you're going to use ken lee for pvp uh, i think that he's certainly better um i have some gameplay i can show you there where we're we're going to be going into arena and you know and fighting if we look here and we go and we take on um i don't we don't want to take on that team that team will just wreck us if we take on the meta all right which is not a great way to really um try to see what we have but we if we take on the meta if we just bring in the our the meta team right uh here instead of instead of batty we just bring in hilda um, and we have the same type of a team as the other one, but without little baddie. All right. We'll see that Hilda does pretty well against magic damage. I've ran this several times. Uh, I've done a lot of testing and that sort of stuff. She has great magic damage. She can, she can take a hit from magic damage. Her magic damage resistance is much higher than Ken Lee's. Um, and so I think we'll see that here in these videos so let's go ahead and see if we can go after rule here get our stealth going on um, we kind of have to attack um, I have to attack Solius. don't really want to but there goes the taunt Hilda see Hilda has not taunted yet which is good because we didn't lose taunt so we can go ahead and throw up taunt now she'll reduce turn meter and as you can see she's going to have a good bit we're gonna put invisibility on and go after ooh freeze it's open let's go after him shall we this would cheat death oof and as you can see these battles always seem to go the same way um let's see if we can get freeze art out of here there we go freeze art's done down goes freeze art um, I really want to kill Cruel, but I think if we can try to get uh, him out of here, we should do that. Let's go ahead and copy him before he leaves. Um, battle. There we go. Okay, so we can only attack Little Batty, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, not sure exactly where we're at in here, but we are going to go ahead and use this because what's going to happen. So the nice part, if you don't know this about Cruel, if you use her I am the Knight and you have Soleus as copied, the Nighty L will also attack. So watch this. There you go. And then we'll go ahead and spear and kill him. So that's that's kind of nice. Now we can go after their Cruel. Um, let's go ahead and try to save our our, our guy over here, Freezard. 
Ooh, Nighty Elves really hurt. Um, let's go ahead and kill Nighty Elf. Let's go after Cruel. Go ahead and taunt. Reduce turn meter, which is nice. We, yeah, we'll just kill the Apparition. We've got this. So as you can see, Hilda came in, did did very well, um, took a took a lot of damage, was able to uh, absorb damage, was able to reduce turn meter on the opposing team, was able to put us in a good position to be able to win um, against against the meta team. And the nice part, of, the reason for that, of course, is that we want our tank when you're going against little baddie you almost want your tank to be slower than little baddie if she's faster than little baddie you're gonna get she's gonna use her shield throw and she's gonna remove remove buffs and gain taunt and you don't want her to remove you don't want her to give her the opportunity to remove uh, buffs so hilda does very well there um and so if we put in if we put in if we take hilda out and put in oh, but I took a wrong person out there. If we take Hilda out and put in Ken Lee, let's see what we have. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Hit the wrong button. Got to get my human back in here. Excellent. There we go. All right. Then we'll put Ken Lee. Now, as I was saying before, Ken Lee does just, he has lower magic damage resistance. Uh, he does have the ability to dodge, as you all well know. Um, he can dodge. His dodge was nerfed. He's got a good health pull, but Hilda's health pull is higher than Ken Lee's uh, health pull is. Uh, and so that's kind of the way that goes. All right, so we're looking here. We have... We have Freezard, we have Solius. Um, it's always nice to be able to get Solius out of there right away, but let's go ahead and attack Cruel. Um, and so let's go ahead and attack Solius now. Let's see if we can put a slow on Solius. That's nice. I'll slow him down. Once again, same thing. She attacks. We got our Kin Lee to be a little bit slower so we can pop up our taunt. That's really what you're looking to do against this team. You don't want your taunt to go away. Obviously, she's going to have to uh, use... You want her... Do You want to make her use her invisibility ability. So we're going to go ahead and use invisibility here. Boom. You see the magic damage? <laughs> because his magic damage resistance is so small, he just got eaten by Cruel. And that happens, um, especially against this current meta. That happens a lot where you just, the character just gets eaten by, um, the tank gets eaten by the magic damage dealers, because Night L and Cruel, they just do, they can do so much damage. And as you can see, this is going very differently, because our tank immediately went down. Uh, and this is the case, uh, this does seem to happen, when I test this over and over again, this is what is happening, um, right? And so we're we're kind of at a loss here. We we could con, you know we could go ahead and grab little Batty. We could grab Solius. Uh, we I think we want to kill Solius, right? We don't want him to heal, so we're gonna go ahead and just kill him, all right? And that's kind of that kind of sucks because now we got we're stuck behind little Batty. All right, Cruel is popped up, so we'll just go ahead and kill her. All right, and that's kind of the way that goes. We don't really have much more that we can do um and so we can copy someone but who are we going to copy and what's going to what's the best benefit for it uh, if we copy 90l that'll be kind of nice uh we probably wanted to copy uh soleus and we kind of made a mistake there oh uh, we'll just grab little baddie and see if we might be able to survive but probably not so you can see how because we didn't because our tank took so much damage right in the beginning from the magic damage his magic damage resistance wasn't as good this particular meta he just got massacred now if he would have dodged right that would have been nice uh but that's not what happened uh and so if we look at it again and we run it we run the same thing we put hilda back in all right we put hilda back in 
right? And we can look at this. You can you can see the numbers. We should do that real quick. Uh, we see the numbers between Hilda and Ken Lee. So Ken Lee here has, you know, magic armor of 31, uh, you know, here 31.18%. And then we go over to Hilda, right? 39, right? It's just, it's just higher. She's just higher. She's got more health, um, less shields, and he has, you know, less health, but more shields. Um, and so it's kind of interesting. She gains a lot more shields and that sort of thing as well. Uh, I, I don't think that she's necessarily better, but currently when we're sitting on the test account and everybody's running what I believe to be going to be the meta once people have uh, little baddie up, right? If you don't have little baddie or you're wondering, well, who can I have a tank to, you know, to put in to this team? Because I have this team and I'm using, say, Tromgar like I am on my account, right? Can I use Hilda? Well, Hilda, Hilda will work if you already have Trumgar, right? Trumgar may actually work as, you know, will work just as well. Um, but he, if we look at Trumgar, we look at Trumgar and what he has for magic damage and that sort of stuff, right? His magic damage and physical damage, he just, he mitigates just better. He's, his overall mitigation. Now, of course, I have, you know, might have some mitigation runes on him, but it's mostly potency and tenacity stuff. So uh, on the test account here, but his magic armor and physical armor damage is, is better. Now he's got lower health and, you know, and higher shields, but he re takes damage better than Hilda does. The nice part about Hilda is that damn, that turn meter reduction. This human team is so fast. Uh, they, the way, the way they get modded, you end up with 164 speed and she can reduce turn meter. People are really speeding them up. Uh, all right. 182 speed and under stealth, uh, you know, 189 speed and using a lot of speed mods. I mean, the night is moving quick with the speed mods on this team uh my 90l i go basically straight power on but maybe speed is the better way to go and so let's go ahead and take out ken lee and run hilda one more time and kind of and kind of see it now like i said i have ran this several times um i keep i've run it and ken lee gets whacked every time by either cruel or by um a big hit from uh from 90l so we'll we'll go here again right boom they're they're just running they're going fast uh let's see if we can go after soleus we kind of did that the first time soleus is soleus being out there and doing a lot of damage it can be very very bad uh for us i'm gonna throw this over to freezer try to speed him up see if we can get a slow on soleus excellent now she pops up out of stealth which is good right Removes buffs. Now we can taunt. Remove turn meter. And she's going to take some hits. All right. And we're going to put Batty under stealth. Dodged. See, since she dodged, we're, we're pretty well done. That was, that sucked. 1%, 2% chance to dodge, and she did. And now we're stuck behind little Batty. All right. And now this bat fight's going to go very badly for us, I believe. Let's go ahead and heal. Alright. Now we have little Batty currently into the shields. I want to try to kill her. Um, man, that sucks. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and steal Solius from them and hope Solius doesn't heal her up. Um, All right, cheat death again. And this is just the unfortunate thing. I mean, the team is so good. They can steal. Probably should have just killed little Batty right off the bat. Um, now they've got my Soleus and their Soleus. My Soleus is, or got blind. Um, you know, what do you do? Who do you go after? It it's, can be very frustrating um, to decide uh, what to do and who to, who to attack. Um, so Hilda is still taking damage, doing, you know, Taking damage, we're gonna go ahead and give her more. And so you can see that it's just kind of 
it can be kind of frustrating. Now we got two Soliuses out on the field. Um, you know, who to attack, who to go after. Cruel's still sitting over here just doing a whole lot of, you know, just causing havoc on the team. And this is kind of, you know, where I've talked I've talked a lot about I thought that she was kind of a tier two character. I didn't think she was all that great. Uh, I was wrong. She's amazing. And this is why she's amazing and the things that she can do for a team, right? She can change the entire course of the battle um, simply simply because something either doesn't happen or does happen. And in this case, right, what happened? I missed my shields, just missed flat out, and I lost the battle because of it. I mean, the whole thing turned. But as you could see, the point was Hilda. Did Hilda die? All right, did Hilda just get blown up? No, she didn't. Um, she didn't just get blown up the way Ken Lee did. And so let's go try it again with a little less, see if we can get a little less RNG. Right. And maybe there's a better way to fight it. I, I'm not really sure. It she, Her going in and out of stealth really changes the battle up a lot. Um, and so I want to kill her as fast as humanly possible, uh, but <laughs> it's very hard to do, uh, very hard to do. Right. We're going to throw some buffs up, reduce turn meter. You almost have to really just kind of play the battlefield and see where we're at. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and attack. Still can't get behind the taunt. Still stuck. All right. We just smashed their tank, which was nice. Uh, let's go ahead and kill him. Very, very nice. Much better. So now, can we... Nope, our Soleus is down. Which is a big disadvantage to this team, because Soleus is just kind of exposed um, out there. As you can see, we just killed their Soleus. And see, the game, the tur it's turning already. Right? They just killed my Cruel, which is not good. Their Cruels never come out of stealth, so I can actually attack her. Uh, which, there we go. Finally got her. Um... I think we're going to go after Freezard. Let's kill him real quick. Big damage there. So, interesting spot here. I think I can just kill her if I just hit her, so I'm just going to do that. And then, here we go. Go ahead and taunt. Throw up our damage so we can just reduce, reduce turn meter. Nope. And there we go. And once again, she stayed alive. She was able to take enough hits to stay alive to, you know, but then we had a huge hit on Little Batty, but Little Batty can survive and get get healed by Soleus, and so that's kind of nice. So if you don't have Little Batty and you don't have Trumgar for some strange reason or another, right? Hilda may be help. Hilda may be something that you want to do, but ultimately, right? Kinley versus Hilda doesn't matter. Trumgar is better. Little Batty's even better than her. And so that's kind of my ultimate thought on, on Hilda is Hilda's fun. She's got some cool stuff going on in her kit. I like the reduced turn meter um, and that sort of stuff, especially for the guild, for the raid. But now that we know the, the developers don't want us to be soloing or using a lot of turn meter, we know that the, the, the turn meter is going to be, uh, you know, they're going to actively stop soloing from happening, then I'm not sure what the benefit of turn meter uh, in the raid is going to be if we have to, if she's going to be there and she can reduce reduce it, but uh, reduce turn meter, but it's going to get resisted, um, then I'm not sure what her benefit would be, except for on, you know, on meat wheel. Uh, maybe... Maybe the tenacity for levels for Meat Wheel will be different. I, I don't really know. I think all the bosses have the same tenacity levels at the right as of right now, but it may be different later. Uh, they may be different later. And keep in mind, this is a four. It's a four cooldown. Um, so you know, she does it on first. She can do first turn, and then she has she has it for two turns, and then it's two more turns before she can do it again. So, uh, it, you know, it's four turns. So it's it's a long time, and it's only twenty percent turn meter. So. But it is all enemies, and that is kind of nice. I, I I think she's a good character, but I wouldn't 
she's not going to break the bank. She's not going to be amazing. Um, you know, Ken Lee has been kind of pushed down too. The two of them both have their strengths. I think that if you're going to invest in her, uh, she's going to really help you clear tower um, with her with her with her uh, basic gaining equal shields, and then when you put her in there with Patriarch Chi, uh, she's going to be able to get regain shields over and over and over again, um, double the shield regeneration and that sort of thing. So that is my thoughts on Hilda and whether Hilda is better than Ken Lee. I think they're relatively the same six to one, half a dozen to the other. Um, they have different buildings, but if you're talking about PVP, Hilda's definitely better at this present time. She just doesn't get blown up by the, by the current uh, magic meta that is out there. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. Uh, let me put your comments down below on what you think, uh, Hilda, who you think is better, Hilda or Ken Lee. And we'll see you next time when gaming and the law intersect.